Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can reuse component in Angular as well as we will see how we can pass data from parent to child while we are reusing the components. So first we will make a array of users in component.ts file. After that we will display these users from array with the help of a for loop on the UI. After that we will make a child component and we will pass data from parent to child while reusing component. At the same time we will uh, reuse and same time we will pass the data from parent to child and then we will add some style and at last we will discuss some important interview question also. Alright, this is Angular 19 playlist that will definitely help you out for Angular job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. Alright, so now, now let's make a array of users in TS file. So this is our app.component.ts and let's create a property with the name of users and let's define some users inside this and username is like Anil then Bruce after that let's see Peter then maybe John and last one is let's say Tony all right now uh, let's go to the app.component.html and use a for loop and uh, see to use the loop over the array in the uh, template file or you can say that in the dot html file you can use two ways first you can use uh, uh, ng4 or otherwise you can use at the rate 4 at the rate 4 is a part of control flow in angular which is released in the one of the latest version in the angular so now let's define their user of users right because this is the users property and here we will extract user one by one right and then uh, to track it you can say that a uh, user is the unique thing there and uh, after that let's use a div and inside this div simply put the user and uh, now let's move to the ui and here you can see that all users are displayed there fine but now our purpose is to make a component and reuse it with the each of the user and we have to pass data also for that let's open the terminal create one more component ng generate component and component name is let me fix it typo user here you can see that we have the one more component user. To use it, first we have to go to the app.component.ts and we are, here we have to import the user component. Perfect. After that, in the app.component.html, uh, let's use their user app like this. And how do I know that I have to use user app uh, to use the user component in the app? The reason is if you open the uh, user.component.ts file you, here you will see the selector and you have to use this selector as a tag wherever you want to use it and now okay user app is not a component so what i missed that let me see okay sorry this is the app user not the user app so let me fix this and again user now you can see that the users are also in the loop as well as that user component also in the loop. But I don't want to uh, just show this text user uh, works. I just want to pass the name to the child component. Okay, for that you can remove this from here. And what you need to do, you can just use a property attribute, whatever you want to say. You can say that user and then pass the this user which is coming from the array, right? Now you will see a, a, a error over the UI because this is saying like we pass some data but we have to handle this also. And to handle it, go to the user.component.ts and here you have to import the input decorator. Here it is. And with that, use the property, any name you can put there. Let me put the user. No, you cannot put the any name, whatever the property you are passing, you have to just give the same name there, right? user and uh, then you can define its data type which is string you can give its default value maybe blank and now this error is gone but still we can see that user works so how we can show this user again go to the user.component.html file there use h2 tag use double curly braces put the user and here we go 
perfect so now let's add some style so that it can be look little bit better i am not uh, saying that that will be look best but let's try to add some style and let's use their user name is this all right okay so now what i'll do there and to this uh, user i'm just using a span for this here we go now go to the app dot component dot css file just user h2 and let me add some border one pixel solid and color is let's say red here we go now you can give its width also if you want width is let's say 40 or 50 percent great and we know that we have a span also with span just simply put background color red and i want to just keep this name at the last and for that what you can do uh, display flex justified content space between and here we go now this is in the last you can make it more better if you want uh, to you can add style according to you but i just want to show you like how you can style the child component how you can pass data and how you can use the child component with the loop and basically this is a reusing component with passing data so again if you have any question query you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part uh, please like this video subscribe my channel comment your feedback and this is my paytm and gpay donation number thanks everyone